Now, your stories, your struggles, and your successes. This is Focus on South Florida. Good Sunday morning, everyone. I'm Michelle Gillen, and welcome to Focus on South Florida. I'm the Chief Investigative Reporter here. We've got a fantastic show for you. We're going to begin with an up-close and personal look today at an ecological treasure South Florida can be very proud of. I'm talking about Virginia Key, a highly diverse barrier island just off the coast of downtown Miami. Virginia Key's North Point is being transformed into one of our only public spaces specifically designed for recreational use and the conservation of flora and fauna. Only three months ago, the beach was really suffocated in invasive plants and was just basically unusable. But volunteers from the Patricia and Philip Frost Museum of Science, which is so underway being built, are helping lead the way in environmental restoration activities at Virginia Key North Point. Joining me this morning to elaborate on all this, what's being done to men who love being outdoors, we've got Fernando Britos, and he is the curator of ecology and field conservation at the Frost Museum. Also here is Josh Mahoney. Josh is the Environmental Resources Project Supervisor at Miami Dade County Department of Environmental Resource Management. They've got big titles, but I think it's really all about your passion for being out in the jungles, the native lands of South Florida, and trying to save them. And what are you so excited about right now? Well, I'm, I'm a biologist by training. I don't spend enough time outside as I would like to. And I'm, I'm really passionate about bringing back native habitats to Miami. I also think that, that as scientists, we've hit a lot of people with gloom and doom, especially about climate change and yes. some of these big global issues that are facing us. And through volunteer habitat restoration, we can give people a real activity to do that makes them feel better, that's, that's real, that they can come back to and see grow over time. They can see wildlife come back. So it's really the power of, of activity, the power of people, getting them engaged in something that really means something that helps our Isn't own that health. Fantastic? I mean, it seems very unique tonight. I was just even looking at your church. Museum volunteers for the environment. I mean, I do, who wouldn't? I'd love to be a part of that. Well, you can, and we're we've been doing this since 2007. We started as an eco art project, and we've blossomed since doing different types of habitat throughout the county, working a lot with the Department of Environmental Resources. And I love that eco art. And now here you are from the from the county, and of course, I my nexus with you all is so often this very serious stories of earth and contamination and all of that and and you've got this wonderful position to be looking forward to the future and and salvaging what we have and, and protecting the environment you know what's your goal absolutely um, Miami-Dade County has been very involved in coastal habitat restoration um, since 1985 and to date we have restored approximately 590 acres of coastal wetlands subtropical um, coastal hammock coastal strand and beach and dune communities as well as submerged seagrass areas and stabilized uh, shoreline and it's not so simple for us for the public really to see mm -hmm. that because the changes are you know in a sense you're making sure things don't get worse and they're getting better but it's not necessarily something a photograph shows overnight correct correct and it's designed to integrate seamlessly with the landscape with natural areas so yes. these aren't obscure areas that have been created they're supposed to um, appear as they were intended to as natural areas and you know dollars when they are state and county dollars are always you know at a minimum how significant do you think it is having you know uh, the Philip and Patricia Frost Museum of Science underway and, and, and the you know in a sense the flag that is raising to, raising to help in this area this this is a fantastic opportunity and, and the Virginia Key North Point restoration is, is being done in the true spirit of partnership between the museum and the county, the city of Miami, and being able to get all these volunteers out there to be part of it um, provides a, a service that we're not able to do otherwise. We're, we're promoting environmental education and we're instilling a sense of environmental stewardship and ownership by these volunteers who are going out there planting for the day or days, yes. and then they all ask the same question. Yeah. 
can I come back in six months and see yeah. what it looks see like? Because yeah. yeah, when you get that sense of ownership, that you know, I, I remember I went out once. I had the pleasure of going out with um, one of the Cousteaus, the grandson, yeah. and we went planting, you know, and I stood in the muck and <laughs> all of that other stuff. But boy, it was pretty exciting. And is that what you're asking people to come out and do? Absolutely. We we provide an enjoyable activity for families from yeah. any age, especially the work we're doing at North Point, which carries through until October. Okay. There's a second phase of North Point. So right now we're restoring a beach and dune habitat that's actually an, actually an active sea turtle nesting beach that we're doing this summer. And then next year we're restoring the tropical forest, what we call a hardwood hammock that's adjacent to that. Wow. So there's a lot of stuff going yes. on, and families love this idea. Does a lot happen idea. on the weekends, or when, when is the best time for people sure. to think about joining you? It's it's basically every other weekend that okay. we're working out there, and mostly Saturdays. We okay. Have a few Friday activities. So okay. So it's perfect. It's in the morning when it's not as hot. Yes. Um, but luckily, we're working right off the ocean, so we get a nice breeze. <gasps> nice. And uh, last Saturday, we had a, a lot of cloud cover, so it's wow. it's really enjoyable. There's a public beach nearby, so families can go go there afterwards yes. and really enjoy the day. If people want to reach out to you and sign up, do they do it online? What's the best way to do this? Sure. We, um, we're developing our website now, MOVE, which stands for Museum Volunteers for the yes. Environment. So the best way to do so would be to email C King, mm -hmm. C-K-I-N-G, mm -hmm. at FrostScience.com. Org. And it's kind of nice because it's also getting in. I mean, I've had a pleasure of meeting with the Frost, you know, over the years, and it's really quite a vision coming to our city. I mean, it's amazing on mm -hmm. so many levels, right? And, you know, having science be a part of a museum, do you, do you think that will raise the banner for South Florida? Absolutely. Um, and, and the, the new, new museum has native um, habitat exhibits within uh, its core. Um, mm. So. All right. So well, hopefully we'll see you out there on a, on a weekend, gentlemen. We thank you for coming. Be good stewards of that ground out there. It is so important because, you know, it's our future, but it also affects our health, I think, in every day. So we look forward to seeing also what research you're doing. Thanks for joining Thanks us today. Okay. Bye-bye.